We're back. Told you it wouldn't be too long. We sprinkled some magic dust on the computers. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. The magic dust. Let's go. Just a nice touch. Now, before the break, mm -hmm. Concordia won the first map, and they are now leading 1-0. to zero. And Lanny TS will try to tie this game up and continue to be the great team that they are. Try to tie things up, maybe win a game. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. So we're going to head into my home country of, uh, of Greece. Oh, yes. Into Ilios. Beautiful map and fantastic design, too. A lot of Roadhog mechanics are going to come into play, and Orisa pulling into the pit. Uh, and I'm, I'm willing to bet JMKZ Ooh. or Conman, whoever lot wants of. to pick the character, will have a field day on that one, and so will Zalti. Now, JMKZ. Mm -hmm. Kind of a question mark on Ilios, because not only is... Roadhog, very important on that map, but so is Farah. She is. Which means... And he plays both. He can unleash the beast. <laughs> just go forward, take that rocket launcher, go up in the air and start raining fire on the opposition. Lanny Tios will have to find a way to deal with that Farah as efficiently as possible because we know for a fact that JMKZ is deadly with that character. So... Uh, it could take the energy to off. ETS, we're going to have a really rough time dealing with perhaps the Farah and the Roadhog and the Orisa. So really it's going to come down to which team can get that point and hold on to it as long as they can. All right, we're moving to the game right now. Concordia Esports versus ETS Phoenix. Map number two. Reinhardt. We are just mm -hmm. about to head in. This composition is a bit... Weird from Concordia. We are not seeing what we expect. The JMKZ going for Diva instead of Farah. I mean, it is. And no Roadhog. It is the Lighthouse map, so I could understand the Winston just because he could come back. The Rhine is a bit questionable just because I find Rhine is such a difficult character to play currently, but ETS making it work so far. Oh, yeah. On the side of ETS, we do have a Roadhog and we have the Reinhardt, but on the side of Concordia, this is, this is the most peculiar uh, composition I've seen from them so far. Medusa going on Lucio, and Stealth is going to be taking care of Mercy because we know Mercy is indispensable right now. Here we go, Praxis doing really well with Reaper, dominating the playing field, and hide upstairs. Repositioning on top on the balcony. Look, Gonna catch some Z's and that couch. pun. That pun has been the bane of my existence since the beginning. Repositioning. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Oh my god. I hate it. Are you Freak 2.0? I hate it. <laughs> but that's what he's saying, no? <laughs> I mean, Isn't it what he's I mean, saying? <laughs> okay. I love Doom it. Piss. I Doom love piss. it and I hate it. Binky going for oh, 76. Right, oh, the damage on Con Man. Goodbye. You are gone now. I mean, he tried to fist him. Came a bit short. Not long enough in arm. Can't do that. Don't do that. No fist. Not if it's as first. Consent. Important. So, ETS holding on to this point. But the alter are coming up for them, so they could probably. Oh, bye ooh, bye, so. Boo boo, bye bye, BB. Let's go. Binky doing so much damage across Concordia's team. They're trying, but, but they're the contesting. Point is ooh, contesting. That wasn't exactly the best peak of all time. Binky getting a melted down. Medusa will pick up that kill, and Concordia will pick up that point. Interestingly enough, Concordia did not use a single ult, and are going to have pretty much six ults up for the next fight, as well as ETS going to have five. Pretty incredible so far. Phoenix has been doing really well. 56%, nothing to, uh, to stop at, but Concordia, ooh, activating two ultimates right now. The Lucio's shield barrier. It's going to be the ult fiesta. Try to do something. Subtraction basically wasted his ultimate. Not exactly the type of team fight you want so far, JMKZ. Finding nothing. All of those ultimates are missing, and is the only one who's doing anything Mizo with this. really has to smack people off the map here. Boy, Zalti really doing well. All of those ultimates wasted <laughs> in oblivion. Everyone just pressed Q. Everyone had it, and everyone was so eager, itching to press Q on their keyboard, and it didn't work out too well. But hey, ETS is finding the final pick of that team fight. Going to get back on the lead here. I wish we could hear the comms where everyone just, spell, uh, just yells Q, 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 Q. But uh, ETS did recover that point after that fight. So 75% and climbing for ETS Phoenix. 
Concordia on the ropes here. They have one team fight to go, or just about one team fight to go. It might be a bit longer than expected. They don't have ultimates. All right, neither do ETS, so I think they're good for that. Little Marion trying, ooh, desperately trying to stay on that point. If they can get this D.Va out of mech, it could help a lot in defending this point. But ooh, 98, 99, and here we go. This is the win. They weren't on the point. They were on, our, on their feet, and Concordia loses that one to ETS Phoenix. Getting the lead on that first round of Elio. King of the Hill maps being now three map, uh, best of three, losing a single round is actually really devastating. It's incredibly difficult to come back from because the rotation doesn't exactly allow for you to lose a map. It's It, it goes so fast and especially it, if if it's the first one, it puts you at such a disadvantage. Exactly. And since you're never you're you're never absolutely certain of going for the three maps, you can't tell yourself, oh, well, we'll probably be com comfortable on we'll one of them and just find tower. some momentum. You you're never assured of, of anything when you're playing on King of the Hill, and that is the difficult part of it. But at least we're assured a winner. I like I like what I see from sub subtraction the spicy Genji. You better ah. be using that famous carbon skin. Yes, he is. yes, yes. Oh, Subtraction boy. finally on Genji, and we are going to see some sparkles. Mice is right going to drop immediately, but going to get revived. Directed. If this Rhine falls, Mice is going to die again. ETS seems to be very confident on that point. Though. Yes! First slice and dice Spicy. of the night. Here we go. <laughs> going to try to dash through it. Doesn't have the life for it. Yo! That target, prime time, here you go. <laughs> subtraction, getting two kills. Hey, this is it, subtraction. Is this the subtraction Overwatch League? Hey, man. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Into space. I see you, Binky. We all see you now. And so do you for everyone else on the map. Trying to survive that man, five Binky health point. Going to find the health pack. Absolutely incredible. Binky survives that. Still contesting that point. ETS Phoenix is not done with that team fight. And Gregory is not Ooh. on it anymore. Dragon Blade. Oh my. Wo Shinderu. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh my. Here we go. Subtraction getting obliterated. Nice play from Little Marion. Found the ultimate right at the oh, tiny. Oh, whoa. Binky. Misses on that shot, but Praxis will pick up the slack and, and kill that, Medusa. The point finally turned over to the other team. Pretty crazy first team fight for both teams. <laughs> it lasted there. a good two minutes. Look, look, look. We're going to get some action here. Concordia versus ETS. Alt's coming up for Concordia on this time around. I'd like to see them chain stuff into the Dragon Blade. There's four alts up. You kind of need to keep this Genji alive to do damage to get this point back. Engage the team fight with the ultimate from JMKZ, exactly as I was going to say. And Subtraction picking up the fleeing players. Ooh, getting caught in right. that. Re no way. Re Reaper? Question. I think Reaper thought he was dead and then stopped playing. Took his hands off the keyboard. Or, I don't know. That was actually <laughs> Just very stood there. weird. And now we're Widow Hunting. Trying to push back. ETS into their spawn. Concordia doing really well. That they was a lot of it. ultimates, though. Maybe not the greatest alt economy you could have pulled off there, but they did get the point back. Now they have two ultimates remaining, and Tommen is working on his. He's going pretty fast, and so is JMKZ, actually. Really building that ultimate quite fast right now. Breaking okay. it down. Binky trying to scout some heads. Wants those kills. Ooh, no way. Can't catch him. Ooh, very gonna difficult be harassed to deal with here. 30 health points left. I'm going to survive for a long Praxis down, resurrected by Pay. Binky goes down to subtraction. Cleaning up the playing field. Oops, he's got the Dragon Blade. Here we go. Wolf Unleashing beats the beast. Here we go. Not a lot of life left on him, and he needs to be healed. Stat. My That's God. Done. Concordia with the lead right now. Oh, yeah. Flashes of spray. Absolutely. Gotta do that. Spray that battlefield. It's yours now. Every good Genji player knows you have to spray after you kill them all. Binky still going for that Widowmaker. It hasn't worked out too well so far, but he can find just one specific pick on subtraction or even stealth or Medusa. He can possibly win a team fight for his whole team, but he's being pushed back. But 26 Jinkies, health left. Ooh. Jinkies is doing a great job now. After they identify that the Widow is the main reason for ETS's advantage, 
they've put that diva on Widow Dudu. You hunt that Widow only. Oh, nice shot there, but didn't get anything off of Make it. He's gonna life die to my miserable. Wow, that matchup, you have to understand, you have two full-on tanks that can charge you head-on and still survive and kill you. Possibly not the best choice, and he recognizes that, switches to 76. Good player, understands the situation. It's dire, 98%. They, they are going into overtime. Praxis got two kills off of that, but he died right after. Not going to be there to help his team out. Myzo falls! Babe, gonna resurrect Praxis as he goes back <laughs> to the battlefield. No way, you're not getting into my uh, comfort zone. Get not punched the way. Here. This is the wall. JMKZ using that ultimate. Gonna try to find something. No go. Yes. First shatter. Something here. Gets nothing. Look at this man, JMKZ, controlling the playing field so well. Still contesting though. That Mercy needs to die for them to actually get anything. And and remember, go. Yo, he <laughs> got another Dragon Blade. <laughs> used that Dragon Blade about a minute ago. Not <laughs> even, that, that's insane. Genji Daddy coming back in to play. All right, you're pretty excited about that, I bet. I do like me some Genji. Okay. Mata now. Mata. Concordia and ETS Phoenix. This is where I expect to see some spicy matchups. Absolutely. And now. You have Show to me the spicy team comps. Phoenix is probably sweating bullets right now because Concordia is on match point. If they win this one, they win the entire match. ETS will want that one in their pocket to tie the maps and possibly have a chance to still win this game. Fight it out. Well is the map where I expected to see teams try some funky stuff. So we see ETS has opted for that funky stuff with Arissa and Lucio and Roadhog, just trying to push everyone into the hole. Really embracing the Greek and wanting to yell, this is Sparta, as they kick people into the pit. Do it. <laughs> okay, Common, going immediately in the back line, trying to harass ETS's players. Not open quite yet, two seconds left on that. ETS has the positioning advantage. Find something, still contesting. Find Mizo jumping on that opportunity. Binky gonna find him though. Okay, very uh, red and blue. Everyone getting rezzed. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> that hook. Zalty actually doing work here right now with that hook. Fantastic. He's still alive. He's still duking it out. What the hell, Braxis, my man? Look at that kill feed. It's all McCree right now, and it is completely blue, just like the sky. We saw Ooh. that Orisa shield just being so crucial in that fight. They just all piled behind that Orisa shield and just couldn't go anywhere. You can't, can't really break that as a Winston, and you really have no damage aside from Tracer and Diva, and to an extent Zenyatta. So you can't really break that shield at all. So ETS is fr has free reign over this uh, backline right now. Mm -hmm. And now he's got a fistful of ultimate Praxis to have a chance to use his high noon. If he doesn't die immediately right there, and he does. Unfortunate. Uh, where is Pave? He can finally maybe just resurrect him to They can get this Mercy. Ooh, Mizo. Half health. Slapping Mizo. Using the ultimate. Wants to deny ETS <laughs> anything. Whoops. You've got a monkey in your face. It's a big ass gorilla. Do it, my friend. Stop nice. the bullying. In the meantime, Stealth found a little Marion. <laughs> oh, boy, just bopped him. Let's see him. Straight over the edge. Salty doing work here with the hook. And Binky with the trap kills Con Man. They still what? are dominating this Ooh, round. Subtraction actually reflected the high noon back into McCree's face. Ooh, that's a uh, dirty yeah. dog. Not exactly what he wanted. Right there, but they still have the point and they are still going up in percentage 78% and climbing ETS Phoenix is not stopping the strain and Concordia uh, They have to find a way to derail it. They do have their alts coming up though. This is Probably what Concordia has to go. The, the hook is down. They have to go now Ultimate from JMTC oh finds three. No, God. finds two and the ultimate from the Lumerian that is one ultimate completely wasted from the tank on ETS. The blade coming in. Here we go. Where am I? Oh, mama, he gets killed by Jay. Fantastic tracking from Jay to kill subtraction oh when he has God. the blade down? Are you kidding me? 
They cannot find the targets, though. ETS will lose that team fight. 99% the one team fight, and that's it. She actually came up super clutch, knocked the Zenyatta back into the hole, just killed, killed Subtraction, and killed Miso. Lucio OP, man. Medusa has to resurrect Kane. Braxton's yeah. trying to find some shots. He's not doing that much. Oops! Ooh. Just as I say this, he dies. No! I didn't want to curse you, my friend. He gave away his positioning. What are you doing? I said, <laughs> I said too much. Pave needs to resurrect Little Mary, and he has to decide on the prime target for that spell, That's that ability to be used. He decides to use it on the tank. And, uh, Breaking it down into the middle of 10 people. Everyone's going to land in the pit again. GMPZ goes down. Goodbye. Come then. Here we go. Nope. That's. I'm sorry. That's Binky. I from Junkrat to Junkrat. Ooh boy. Binky doing work for his team right now. They are dominating the playing field. Mizo needs to back off. He's gonna die if he stays there. Ooh. Finally dies. Subtraction. Dies subtraction. Pave with the ultimate. The Valkyrie coming out. Zalty. I have to find some way to make this happen. On Concordia's side, can they do anything? Can they come back on the playing field? They have the opportunity to still contest this point. Not gonna be enough though. Can they find it? Oh, he's there! Conman on the point! Saves this. his team! Oh, beautiful! And that bubble gonna try to help out Mizo, but he's falling low. Midlife for the monkey. He has the ultimate, gonna use it, pop it right away. We're seeing the the Roadhog just coming so close. Oh, he's trying so hard, he's, he's gonna find Salty, but he dies in the process. That's not the trade you want, especially if you have the ultimate going. Lil Marion still denying entry from Concordia's players. Sombra? What All is right. happening? What is this? Braxis again. He does it again. Three kills in a row. Beautiful tracking. He's got this in his pocket. Lanny TS will live on to fight another day. One to one. I just really think Concordia didn't acknowledge that this Roadhog was just doing so much work for ETS. That Arisa Roadhog comp just did what it had to do and just pick off people and drop them in the hole. That's pretty much what they exclusively did to JMKZ. You just hooked him every single time and put him in the hole. Oh my goodness, look at that play of the game. Four kills straight away. That was the cleanest praxis. Carrying his team to victory in that last round on Ilios. Now, we are tied one to one. Concordia kind of fell off on the momentum side of things uh, during maybe the, the last round. We saw them struggle to get a footing into that zone, into the, the, the uh, King of the Hill point. I wonder if that is going to hurt them in the next map or if they can just come back and still have their heads clear of any negative thought. 2CP is really a whole different ball game. We're going on to everyone's favorite map, Lunar Colony, as uh, as as we know, everyone's favorite map. Yes. But I really think Concordia didn't acknowledge that their comp, even though JamKZ did big damage with that ultimate, it just didn't work the way that it was supposed to be. I mean, you have to understand that sometimes when you have an idea, you want to bring it all the way you to the end. Brute force it all the way there. Yeah, and ETS. Still trying to find the right composition, just like Concordia. But Concordia here in that last round maybe tried to make subtraction, uh, subtraction's Genji work for a little too long. I don't really... It's, it's really weird. I probably need to go watch that game again. I just feel like the tanks were dying way too much for them to actually do damage and protect their back line. It was a pretty crazy which game. ETS was doing phenomenally, which is a spam. Just press buttons down, shield your team. What I noticed the most, and if you if you go look at the replay of the game after we're done with all of this, at, uh, during that last round, uh, you had a moment where Little Marion used the ultimate uh, of Orisa to really give that that forward momentum for all of the team to to really uh, place themselves spread out on the map and really get the picks going and Praxis benefited from that at the end of uh, the last round. I think he found three picks to, to bring his team to, to victory. Combined with the Mercy damage boost, that's Man, a lot of damage. Exactly, and you can't let a McCree just roam this plane of existence with an Eraser ult and a Mercy damage boost. And a Junkrat. 
and a Junkrat because you don't <laughs> it's know. Hurt. It, it's so incredibly disruptive. You have the Junkrat and you're trying to find your way onto the map, onto the playing field. And, oh, here they are. Oh, man, the trash damage coming in. I can't come in there. I can't come in there. I need to find oh, the right spot. Oh, tanks are dead. Oh, man, I found this little sweet door that I can go through. Oh, boy, I'm dead. McCree just shift. killed me one yep. hit. Yeah, that's it. That's all you get. And now we are heading into Lunar Colony, as you said. Space. Uh, the final frontier. The moon landing. The moon landing. It was fake. It's <laughs> fake moon landing. I mean, Trump wants to go to Mars. So. Oh, yeah. Well, he well, can, Tesla's going to he Mars. He can go to Mars and never come back. I wouldn't mind. Tesla's sending his race car to uh, his roadster to Mars. What? This guy, this guy. No, 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 no. We're going Lunar to Colony, a pretty intricate map, if not an explosive one. It's, uh, it's interesting. First point is usually where the game is won or lost. If you get rolled first point, you're probably going to lose. Attackers if you could hold that first point, is you that, might win. Is that the description for, you know, every 2 CP map? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I think I just described the, the gameplay <laughs> in a nutshell. Basically, if you have the presence of mind Maybe to win the up. first point, and you don't win the second one in the first team fight, as uh, difficult. <laughs> so, uh, and the game you, about to get underway here. Look, we, we can't talk enough about 2CP and the balance behind it because there is so much to say about these maps. But we are headed onto one of those and we will see for ourselves what it can bring to the game. And Jay, with the cheeky pick right here. We've actually been, if you've been following Overwatch League at all, Moira is actually one of the highest contested picks. You can get your ultimate charge so quickly on this first point by running. Lucia Moira, but maybe. maybe it's just something Cordy's is not used to. They're gonna try and brute force this point right now. Oh, I feel like Moira on 2CP like this, when, when you have a lot of open space, is pretty efficient. Oh, we're seeing it right here. That was a bit of a... Remember the pinball of hate. In these close quarters, this does so much. And uh, your interesting heal mechanic. <laughs> the ultimate is still useful. You have that big line moving forward. And the comp here for ETS is pretty straightforward. This is what every team plays 2CP right now is you pick Orisa, you pick Roadhog, you try and kill people that funnel into a choke. Yeah, and I think the Pharah pick here might find itself to be a bit out of place. You can find the right picks in, uh, in, in certain heights. It's going to be very difficult to finish off any target with that character right now. I'd it's actually tracking. like to see Cordia switch it up and play maybe something unorthodox like a 5 tank Moira or a 4 tank Moira Lucio, something like that. Yeah, just no. surprise this enemy team. Let's see what they've got. Binky with the ultimate right now. It's oh. gonna go off and he's gonna get two targets. Medusa and Mizar are the victims here. Cool essence being used. Yeah. ETS doing quite well so far. Concordia is struggling to find the right, uh, the right foot to cross the door with. They're kind of fumbling and bumbling all over the place, trying to find kills, not doing anything. JMKZ, he has the ultimate, but again, it's going to be very difficult to find the right spot to use that. What they're looking for now is trying to get that fire alt plus the Doomfist alt to really displace them and maybe try and pick them off as they're doing it. But you have to use your ult to do that, and you have to get on point to do that. They're going to trance in. Doomfist. They do it. Punches one. Gonna find the ultimate here. Where can he place it? On everyone. Oh yes, he's <laughs> gonna find two. Jay and Binky are the victims here. And finally, Concordia has some kind of advantage in a team fight. I mean, they used everything, so uh, I hope they would get it. Oh. <laughs> wow, Binky doing so much work. What a Scumbag fantastic Binky. Junkrat player. Medusa, resurrecting Kamen, needs to continue the fight. They got that point. Probably, unless they want to contest it, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Gold, Doomfist, Golden Fist, man, that's so sick. Man, his already default skin is gold. Just getting the Golden Fist on top of the already Golden Fist is like double swipe. It's amazing. It's gangster stuff right there. <laughs> you know the gold chain? got the jewelry. Doomfist just runs around with his blink blink fist. Okay, Mizo's the only one who has any kind of ultimate on the side of Concordia. Little Marion on the side of ETS mirroring that. Let's see what they can do. Marion can find the right spot for a boost here. If you could drop the healers here, ETS might have a bad day. Oh boy, JMKZ with that Pharah upstairs, that's difficult to deal with. That second point is so that rough. Rock having an annoying time just being bopped around. Absolutely amazing. And Ooh, wow. wow. God. 
What a clinic Kagordia is sporting on right now. ETS cannot possibly <laughs> retaliate. Dude, what can they do? This is punching people back into spawn. He's like, no, stay. Every single time they try to trickle in, they die immediately after. And Pave is going to try to get going to that down. Point. Dude, oh my god. Doing really well. JMTZ with those rockets, man. It's impressive. He's pretty much uncontested. Nobody has looked at him. The DPS players are totally ignoring him, just trying to save the game by dashing in on the point, which is what Concordia wants right now. Trickling very slowly, and Praxis trying so desperately. Can't die, though. He's going to need a heal. Ooh, Binky dies. That was Sombra. Interesting choice for that final hold. There is only a pixel left on Hello, that team. counter. Can they, <laughs> can they possibly do this? If ETS does this, they are my heroes. The Marion trying to get on that point it's, with the uh, monkey. It's looking a bit grim. Yeah, well, the trickle, the inevitable about to happen right now. And of course, 2-0 two, two Concordia getting the lead right here in ETS Phoenix. They have their shot. Can they tie it up? That was pretty convincing from Concordia, at least for the second point. Yep. First point, eh, a bit difficult, As but they said, got there. That first point is pretty much the linchpin of this map. If you hold that first point, you could probably win. If yep. you lose it, it might be a bad day. A bit more difficult. Let's see how ETS Check fares this in this one. computer right here. Tire and loading information. I prefer uh, drag radials myself. Downloading that team composition. <laughs> Downloading some tires. Download more ram.net. What's the wall hacks? <laughs> Who got the wall hacks? I got those. Oxygen farm. Dude, I want to farm oxygen. I want a disclaimer. Can right? I buy... I don't, can I, I don't play Can I invest hacks. Bitcoin in oxygen farming? You cannot. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare. You cannot. No? No Bitcoin? Don't... <laughs> No Bitcoin. <laughs> this is a Bitcoin free zone. Dude, this stream is they gotta Bitcoin grow up free. on the moon. Look at this. Bitcoin free since Hydroponic tank. I want a revolving tank. Does IKEA sell these? <laughs> they probably do. They Ikea probably do. Everything. Setting up the match right now. Concordia subtraction going for a rebirth. <laughs> it was this, uh, you, no, 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 no. This no, is no, some no. season one stuff. You can't. You <laughs> Oh my goodness! What is this composition? The only the only thing that's left to round up the season one comp is a Reinhardt. Hashtag bring back heaven wins. Just bring it back. Where is Camillo? ETS Phoenix going for something pretty traditional. Yep. I do like the more on attack though. And both both teams are going for basically season one comps except for one character. Well, Moira and on the other side, it's, uh, it's a reset. See, Moira, the thing was, people have been doing with Moira and Lucio as they've been just funneling in with their tanks and just spam healing like that, and you just farm your coalescence so quickly, and your Moira Kamehameha just does a million damage. Here we go, they're getting onto the Already point. Already at 27%, yeah, he needs to get those heals down if he wants to get his Kamehameha ready. Yeah, they're doing pretty well right now, ETS! Already on the point, already harassing. Look at this! What beautiful play from Phoenix. He's They've about to get it. Down. Kamehameha! <laughs> Here we go. Gonna try to heal his team back up. Cannot save the mech. Reaper actually doing some work. Countering that healing pretty well. They're gonna have to back off here. They're oh not getting God. anything. They had such a great opportunity to. But this is what we've been seeing some Overwatch League teams doing with the Moira, is just busting into that point with your tanks, roll up, heal them all, get that alt down, and try and pick off as many targets as possible. But Subtraction and JMKZ did a good job of staying alive that fight. Yep, and Salty immediately has to use the healing ward here. And now it's going to be the battle of the high grounds. A nice placement here from Concordia. Something ETS hadn't done in the previous matchup, or the previous round, sorry. Ooh, that hook Ooh, finds Zalty! Oh boy, Subtraction catching that. Understands he has an opportunity to kill or get a pick here. Wow! Poof, he's gone! <laughs> Beyblade coming in. Oh, poof, he's gone! Hey, wow! Concordia acting like magicians. Where can I learn those tricks? They're making players disappear left and right. Just poof! Can you not? 
They sell though? Them, they sell them at IKEA. Can you not though? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Darkmagician.com. I'll, I'll check out that website. Same place as I'm the pretty, hydrophonic plant. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find something uh, unhealthy. No, don't, don't go there. <laughs> don't go, <laughs> go there. Don't go to any of the links I tell you to go. It's to. a trap. Don't go there. The internet is full of crap. Oh my goodness. Subtraction, dealing some damage, Sneaky. trying to pick up the Mercy right behind him. Punches her to death. Yeah, uh, JMK Z picks that one up, but that's all subtraction. Nice positioning from the Reaper. The only way that could have been better if he let it rip onto them and uh, Beybladed them to yeah, death. Yeah, that would have been amazing, but he didn't have the ultimate. You gotta deal with it. They did good, uh, they did good. I can't speak anymore. They, <laughs> did, they did well with the Arista Supercharge just to melt them down with the. They did good. <laughs> they done good. They done good. They done real good. Alright. You like my cowboy accent? Your cowboy accent. My uh, southern. Look. I could do this whole cast in three. Time. Oh boy, two targets down. Come in. Opening that fight wide open in subtraction. Still on the back line. Whoop. <laughs> that was a bit too far, my guy. Ryan's you don't like, have I'm going to get you. <laughs> Moving forward aggressively. I'm going to get you. He dies right after. And he's still there. I mean, they have to expect it at this point. I am so if they don't <laughs> check that corner, in the same spot for like five minutes. They have to check that corner. They absolutely have to check just, that just corner. Just look to your left. It's so I know it's tempting <laughs> to just go for the shield, but you have to check that corner now. They know. They know. Of course they know. <laughs> try and get him he's gonna tire. go for it. No, please. No, no. He's the other way. All right, so oh know. my God! Subtraction still getting kills up there. What an amazing match this is. What is going on? ETS still not covering for subtraction. Sneaky Moira. Three times in the same spot. And yo, Jay falls. He was the <laughs> only remaining factor here. They cannot continue. Oh, they're getting on the point. I was so wrong, but he's going to fall. Boom, Praxis is dead. Oh my god, what's going on? Who's on the point now? Oh, Tricksters. Oh, it's him. It's, it's a, the boy. It's a slippery it's Lucio. He's trying so hard. He's, oh, look at him, Beyblade. Uh, he's discorded. He can't survive that. And it's over. Oh, she read those. Concordia Esports win this game 2-1. to one. What a fight from ETS Phoenix. We will see them at a later date. But today, it is Concordia's day and Come Subtraction's low. day. Look at that. Oh, man. Let it rip. I'm so sad about that last initiation. Let it rip, Beyblade. Look. If you're gonna if you're gonna initiate the fight like this, like they've done, and not check that corner again <laughs> three times in a row, yep. like I understand the first two times, you're you're not expecting him to repeat, expecting. but you have to at least just just check. I mean, after the third time, you'd be like, I guess he's up there again. Yeah, I guess I guess he is. I guess he was, and he <laughs> did the job. That did the job. Eh. A few times. We've actually seen Reaper randomly come out out of nowhere and be super hard for teams to deal with, like. I know Concordia had a really hard time dealing with Mirage's Reaper last season for whatever reason. And then just versus random teams, like Reaper seems to be like the go-to pick if like something's going wrong and you just want to have fun and Beyblade on them. He's absolute basics. And this is really important. When you think of Reaper, yes, more dissident players will go, oh, he's just easy mode. But easy mode is so important in a game like this when you just have, you, you, you don't necessarily have to focus on every particular mechanic of the game. You just have to find the right positioning and just click on them. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And when you have enough of the clicking, when you have done enough of the clicking, you, the just, punch. Press, you just click another button on your keyboard, poof. And then when you, oh, you punch that button, just click buttons. So, that's all you uh, have to do. Subtraction just actually sent me a text message that says, Reaper Omega Lil. So, uh, <laughs> you know, he had fun that game. <laughs> I mean, there is no way you're not having fun if you're dominating with Reaper. There is no way you're not He's having fun. He's probably the funnest character to get, like, nano boosted on because it's just hilarious. Yeah. You're powered up. Get in there. Of course, not no nano boosting available here because Anna, well, she's, uh, Sucks. She's, somewhere, she's somewhere in the dumpster. Go find her. Please, please, Blizzard, go find her. Bring her back. Please. Bring her back. And, you know... At the same time, you can leave Mercy there for a little while. But yeah, we don't mind. So uh, <laughs> we're going to take a little break now. Yes, we are. We are going to be back in a couple of minutes. But don't go anywhere because after the break, we are going to have our final match of the day between the Grizzlies and Mirage Esports. We are back in five minutes, something yep. like that. Five, ten minutes. Show me some spicy games.